todo va a estar bien. Pero está lagging en respeto, Alex, no en julio 4th. Alex, párate un segundo, por favor. I'll bet you're asking yourself what all this has to do with taxes. Well, I always dreamed of having my own place when I was in college. What I didn't know was that as I was making plans to move out, property taxes were being increased on the apartment building I was moving into. So what, you may ask? Well, did you know that a tax on one person or group may end up being paid by someone else? The place is filthy, you're going to get sick. If you don't want to talk to your mother, at least write me a note. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I don't think it'd be such a good idea if I came home for dinner every night. Well, for one thing, classes don't finish till four, and then Sis gave me a part-time job in the evenings. Yeah, and for another, I sort of like to fix my own food here. Yeah, I ate your cooking all my life, Mom. <laughs> I didn't say hate your cooking. Ate. I ate your cooking all my life. Yeah. Of course. Of course I'm cleaning up after myself. What do you think I am, a slob? Place is immaculate. Mother, I, I know you and Dad can't afford to lend me any more money. Yeah. I know it'd be cheaper to live at home, but, but I don't need any more money. I swear. I swear. I won't ask for another penny. Forty dollars? Uh, no, Mom, I didn't ask you for forty dollars, but I have to go now. I I'll talk to you soon. Tonight? Couldn't you call tomorrow? Right. Bye. Great. Just great. I just swore to my mother that I wouldn't need any more money, and the rent just went up forty bucks a month. Well, there's only one thing to do. Here you go. Here you go. Alex! You're not due in until tonight. Well, I... What on earth are you doing here so early? Oh, I, I thought I'd tidy up some before you came in. Alex. Well, my landlady, Mrs. Logan, just raised the rent. The problem is I could barely afford the amount I was paying, let alone $40 more a month. I'm a poor student. Well, so now you'll be a poor starving student. How come she hit you for an increase? The notice said it was due to an increase in property taxes. So what do you want from me? A raise? A raise? Alex, I don't know how to tell you this, but I may just have to cut your salary. What? Last week, I received an increase in my property tax for the store. I have to pay for that. But I thought business taxes were paid by businesses. So what am I, guacamole? But you can't! I mean, I mean, there's got to be another way. Raise your prices. Oh, brilliant idea, Alex. Now, let me see. You're suggesting that I pass it all on to my customers. Now, I believe they call that an indirect tax. And what if they don't want to pay this indirect tax? What if I lose customers? But it's not fair. You can't make me pay for your tax. Oh, yes, I, I can. Now you know why they call it an indirect tax. Just be grateful I'm not trying to stick you with the property tax increase I just got on my house. Oh, oh, what makes you so generous all of a sudden? Well, to tell you the truth, as a direct tax, I don't have anyone else to pass it on to. I'll just have to cut back on some personal things. So what you're saying is I'll have to beg my landlady to put off my rent increase. Good luck. I just hope you don't end up looking for a new place to live. Heard on the charm. She won't be able to resist. Want a bet? Sure, I'll make you a bet. If I talk out of the rent increase, you make me dinner. If I don't, I'll make you dinner. It's a bet. Hey, where are you going? Oh, you forgot? I'm not due in until tonight. What Trisha doesn't realize is that if I lose, Mother will be cooking dinner, because I'll be right back where I started. Can you hold, please? Hello, George. I'm going to have to cancel renovating this summer. I just don't have the money. Between utilities and these property tax increases, I... Hold on, George. 
Hello? No, I'm not interested. Thank you. George, I... Oh, excuse me, George, there's the door. I'm going to have to put you on hold again. Come in. Mrs. Logan, I'm Alex Lopez. Apartment 301. Sure is a nice place you have here. Thank you. How can I be of help to you, Mr. Lopez? As a matter of fact, the whole building's nice. Great building, great. George, I just I have love the high ceilings. Right they don't build them like that minute. anymore, do they? And the lawn? We have the best looking lawn on the street. What kind of grassy do you use? Did you come in here just to compliment me on my lawn, Mr. Lopez, or do you have a problem? Because I am fairly busy at the moment and. Well, actually, I do have one teeny tiny problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me guess. Your rent increase? Well, you're not alone. In fact, you're the sixth tenant today to come in here to complain oh, about. Oh, oh, I'm not complaining. To discuss the rent increase? I've had increases myself, you know, in my property taxes, utilities, gas, water, electricity, building maintenance, which is why I'm having to pass on some of the increase to the tenants. I'm not happy about raising the rents, believe me. I'd hate to see you have to move out because of this. Hello. No, I have no vacancies at the moment. Why? Won't rents go up all over town? Well, in most areas, but maybe not in Olderville. They didn't raise their property taxes there, so their apartments are going to be cheaper. Tenants with cars are going to move to Olderville because it's less expensive. If you could just postpone my rent for a couple of months. You see, when I moved here, the rent was one amount, but now it's $40 more. Well, you're lucky it's not even higher. In order to minimize increasing rents, I'm cutting back on services to the building. I've had to let the lawn service go. We're all in this together. That is assuming you remain a tenant here. Oh, I'm here, Mrs. Logan. No problem with 301's rent. I'll manage. You'll get it. I'm glad, Alex. Especially since you like the building so much. After my conversation with my landlady, I did a little research on taxes. And that's when I began to see how the whole thing worked. A direct tax is a tax that cannot be shifted to other people. The person who pays the money to the government loses the real resources. An example of a direct tax is the federal income tax. You pay the income tax to the government and you lose real resources. An indirect tax is a tax that can be shifted to other people. Money comes from outside, so the persons paying the tax to the government do not always use their own resources. A sales tax is an example of an indirect tax. The owner of the business pays the money to the government, but the money comes from customers who pay higher prices for items covered by a sales tax. Another example of an indirect tax is a payroll tax. The owner of a business pays the money to the government, but the money can come from paying lower wages to the employees. So in effect, the employees are really paying the tax. A property tax is a direct tax if it is placed on an individual home. The homeowner pays the tax and loses resources. A property tax is an indirect tax if it is placed on a business. The owner of a business pays the money to the government. Some may come from profits, but some may come from customers who pay higher prices. And some may come from employees who receive less take-home pay. Of course, the taxes we pay do benefit us when they pay for public goods and services like national defense, street lights, highway maintenance, unemployment benefits, or a fire department. If we want these benefits, we have to pay for them with taxes, either directly or indirectly. Okay, directly or indirectly, what could I do? I decided to swallow my pride and ask for some help from mom and dad. I know we benefit from government services. But why do we have to pay so much in taxes? We're just going to have to cut back on our other spending. Alex, what a surprise. 
When's dinner? Well, so much for that idea. Things are beginning to look a little dim. Trisha was busy planning all the gourmet dishes I was going to have to cook for her when I lost the bet. Mom, not sensing my impending return, was still trying to lure me back home by bringing small portions of my favorite meals over to my apartment. I figured it was all over. I tried to make it on my own, and I blew it. It was either find a cheaper apartment or move back home. And finding a cheaper apartment was going to be mighty tough, with rent going up all over town, just as Mrs. Logan said they would. The only thing left to do was tell Mrs. Logan I was moving out. Say, have you noticed the grounds lately? Wild animals could live in those weeds. I mean, it's bad enough she's raised the rent, but now she's turned that front lawn into a jungle. It does look pretty bad, but I don't think she had much choice. You see, among her increased expenses was a property tax increase. And for Mrs. Logan, a property tax is an indirect tax. Listen, kid, you can't tell me that some kind of tax is why that lawn is not mowed. Ah, but I can. You see, there's two kinds of taxes, direct and indirect. With direct taxes, the person paying the government loses the resources. And with indirect taxes, somebody else besides the person paying the government loses resources, too. You got it? What are you, some kind of wise guy? I was only trying to explain. Oh, explain it to somebody else. I didn't blame her for getting mad. The building was beginning to look a bit run down, and the lawn was getting pretty high. I wonder how much that lawn service cost Mrs. Logan. I wonder if she minds the tenants complaining. I wonder if... I'll cut the lawn, do your planting, rake the leaves, anything if you'll just decrease my rent. Well, it did cost much more than your rent increase to have the grounds maintained. But with your going to school and everything... I can do it on the weekends. My weekends are free. I can keep the grounds looking a lot better. And it'll only cost you $60 a month. Well... The tenants will be a lot happier about paying the rent increase if they have a well-kept building and grounds. Well, perhaps we could work something out. It's a deal. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Alex. You won fair and square. But I'll never understand how. Mrs. Logan can be a very difficult woman. Want to know my secret? What is your secret? Well, there are two kinds of taxes, direct and indirect. The content of Understanding Taxes was developed in cooperation with the Joint Council on Economic Education.